This video is to show you how to prepare your model um, for 3D printing, or to be more exact, to be aware of some of the flaws or some of the errors you can make that will result in your 3D printing not working. Now the first one we're going to do, this little model here. For a 3D printer to work, it prints layer by layer by layer by layer. So you have to think of it starting down the bottom and just doing small layers all the way up. So there's some things you need to be aware of. The first one is our little triangle over here, the green. This is what we call an overhang in 3D printing. It means that there's actually more than 45 degrees. So it means that when you print it, you're gonna to have to put supports underneath it because if it's, when it's printing up here, it's printing onto nothing. The printer is actually printing into thin air and it can't print into thin, thin air. So most of your 3D programs, 3D printing programs, will actually have capacities to put supports in that allows the printer to print these kind of overhangs. Now, if your overhang, this here, if this is um, the angle from there to here is less, 45 degrees or less, our printers can generally do that. How you could do that is by, this is 20 mils this way, so if I make that height also 20 mils, oh, I want 10, I want 20. There we go. And then if I move him down, uh, if I move him down so he's on the same part, as our cube, so I hold that and the cube, and I'll use alignment to have the centers aligned. I have a match in there. So now this here is actually 45 degrees. So that angle between here and here is 45 degrees. Um, or actually between here and here is 45 degrees. If it's 45 degrees or less, then the printer will have no hassle in printing that. That's why with the circle, because even though this is kind of more, each little layer um, is still put on the other layer. So our printers should be able to print pure circles. It's just that the overhang is more than that, more than 45 degrees, that causes a problem. Now another one problem we've got is over here, you have to be really careful before you put your uh, model out to be printed to make sure that you've got no gaps. Because if you look here, although it looks like it was together, if we zoom in, we can see there's actually a gap between these two components. And that means they're going to print separate and fall to pieces. Um, so what we actually need to do is to make sure you've got no gaps. You need to have a good look around. I'm going to move this one in so it no longer has a gap. I can zoom in and go over it and see that there is no gap there. So that's all good. Now the last one is this is our little cone on the top up here. Now the problem is that entire cone is going to be standing on one little dot, one little micro. Now the printers print at about two mils wide. So the entire weight of this is going to be hanging on two mils and it just doesn't work. It won't stand up. So what you need to do is make sure there's actually overlap in places like this to provide support for your um, for your object not to fall over. So I'm going to take this and move him down. And so normally, that should be okay. That kind of situation there will actually work because it's got a good basis to print on. And again, because this angle between here and vertical is not less than 45, you don't have to worry about supports, it should work fine. So they're just things, some things to be aware of before you actually export your object for printing to ensure that your printed object actually works out as opposed to just becoming a big ball of spaghetti. Well, there you go.